Well, it started on January 12th that year because there was a, the launch of the International Year of Co-ops. Uh, and I, have, I was invited to go to uh, the National Arts Center here in Ottawa, that, that particular event. There were other events uh, across the country to kick it off. And, uh, and then I, 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 when I thought of it, I realized there wasn't much of a, of a presence on, on, in the, on the hill for co-ops. And I, I was wondering if it would be a good thing to do. And I, I thought about it. I talked to a few people, a good friend of mine who was a, was a vice president of Desjardins since retired. And he said, yeah, it would be. So I, I went to, to see the leader at the time, uh, Mr. Ray, and I asked him to, to see if I could have that responsibility, uh, to be, but not be a critic. I wanted to be an advocate, uh, to try to, be, uh, to engage positively uh, and constructively and cooperatively. And that's what I, I sp spelled out. And, and uh, it, it, it happened on, in early May. And then I, I've been behaving that way since. It seems to be working to a certain extent because the first thing uh, I proposed to Parliament was the creation of a special committee, and to everyone's surprise, it was adopted unanimously. Did fairly decent work, uh, tabled a report in September of that year, and uh, when we came back in the House in January, uh, the first day, the government responded fairly positively to our recommendations. Uh, in the, um, you know, we've realized through the committee work that capitalization is one of the key issues, and and we've got to make sure that. Uh, that all of the federal programs, and there are numerous federal programs that help the private sector, also are available to the cooperative community, the cooperative businesses, because the cooperative model in, 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 the, in the business is very, well, it's not only very good, it's actually quite often better, because the, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, longevity of, of co-ops is, is greater than the private sector at times. Um, so. But there are numerous programs that are not even available to, for co-ops. So let's, if we started doing that and changing that as a, to, to start, I think that would be a great way to level the playing field. Um, and from then, you know, because we would be, the federal uh, authorities and, and administration would become much more aware and sensitive, our intervention or our interaction rather with provinces could become much more positive for co-ops as well. I mean, that was one of our recommendations of, uh, coming out of the committee, which the government has accepted, that we need to make sure the public service is much more aware of the cooperative model than it is now. Uh, I've suggested one alternative, one way of increasing that is, is to make sure that the executive interchange program, it's a, it's a program where senior public servants go and work in the private sector for a couple of years, their, their position is protected. Uh, so when they're there, they're learning uh, about, and, and they, the, the, the business they're in learns about how the government functions. And, and then, of course, senior officials in the private sector go and work in the, inside the federal administration, and they learn the other side. We haven't done that exchange with co-ops. So I've suggested it to a number of the larger co-ops that they consider that. You know, send someone in the agricultural department, send someone in the finance department, send someone in the industry department. They will learn how the departments work, but the other flip side is that the people they work with in that department will learn about co-ops. And so it's, it's a, you know, it's a, to achieve what we want in terms of a, a level playing field and, the import, and people realizing the model of cooperatives is, is an excellent one in terms of community development, in terms of, 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 uh, of, of perhaps reducing the, 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 the level of growing inequities in our society. Uh, that if we if we re, uh, achieve that level of awareness, we will then make the strides that we need to make in the cooperative world. I think there are differences not only between Quebec and the rest of the country. There are differences between Nova Scotia and the rest of the country. There are differences between British Columbia and the rest of the country. Differences from Saskatchewan and the rest of the country, from Alberta and the rest of the country. So you've got differences in every province on how they deal with co-ops. Because of the 9,000 co-ops in the country, I, I, I gather that 8,920 of them are, are incorporated provincially. So, so the, the, ergo the difference. Um, and I think that's good. That is the power of a federation, incidentally. Because you can share best practices I mean, not everything works extremely well in, in every province, but there are certain things that do work extremely well. And co-ops from one province can learn from what is going well in another province. What I really am very, very proud of, very touched by, is the fact that CCA 
and CCCM have come together. I mean, that is possibly the best example in recent years of how a country that is diverse, that has two founding nations, if you will, uh, not including our Aboriginal community, can come together. And, and they have, and it's working. It was a difficult decision, but I'm proud of what they've achieved, and I'm proud of the way they're doing it. So I, I have great hopes that CMC is going to indeed become a model for the rest of the country. That's great. One thing I've tried to, as I have mentioned earlier, I've tried to, to convey to my colleagues is that this is a nonpartisan matter. Co-ops co are in every riding in the country. Uh, you know, so, and, and you as an MP, whether you're a, a conservative, an NDP, a liberal, an independent, a green, you need to pay attention to the co-ops in your riding. Uh, and, and be of, of help to them because it is, uh, co-ops are by and large a great way for business to, to, to work and even and non-profit co-ops are great help to the community. So be there for them whether you're blue, green, red or, or, or orange, you know, it doesn't matter. It's starting to take hold. Every time you get sort of surprised and hit by a government decision, uh, there's always a reaction. One of the laws of nature, through every action there's a reaction. Um, and yes, I think it was, it will lead to better. Uh, it was tough, it was uh, I think a, a, a rather an unusual decision to do this in the year, the International Year of Co-ops, just as the decision last year to, uh, to eliminate the, 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 the program that allowed credit unions to accumulate capital to be able to compete. That too has triggered a reaction in the credit union community and they've come together with a plan now that sounds reasonable and that even colleagues from the government side are listening to. So yes, the negative decisions always have a reaction. Uh, at the time it's not a good one, but I think it caused the, co the cooperative community, especially as we were having a summit in Quebec in 2012, uh, it was the International Year Co-ops, to come together. And, and it, we've seen a re-energizing re of the cooperative community, uh, a, a, a relearning, if you will, of them working together, of being aware of each other, of, different, of, of, of the variety, the great variety of fields we work in, of the new kinds of fields we're working in. Uh, you know, uh, renewable energy co-ops is a fairly new phenomenon in Canada. They're now learning from, from Europe. I mean, Germany, Netherlands, Belgium, 25% the, of the energy there is created, uh, uh, of the renewable energy is, it comes from co-ops. Uh, or, or the other one would be, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, health co-ops. It's, an, it's an, a phenomenon that I'm not yet totally familiar with, but I find extremely interesting because health is perhaps the number one priority of Canadians. So the model of health co-ops could indeed become very important and significant for the administration and, and, and the rendering of health services across the country. I think, it's, I think the future looks good, even despite negative decisions in the recent past.